Hello everyone, today I'll show you 5 blending effects that will turn your videos into masterpieces. Starting with effect number 1, making your video look like it's in a dream. To do that, duplicate your video in the timeline by holding down Alt and dragging it one track up. We're duplicating this one because we need to blend it with the bottom video. Let me show you how. Go to the effects library and find the Gaussian blur effect. Drag it on the timeline. Duplicate of your video. Then head over to the effects controls and here you'll see the effect. Increase the blurriness to something around 100. Now as you can see, we have a blurry video. Now to blend this clip with the original one, go to Opacity. Here you will find the blend modes. In the menu, find screen. This blend mode will make the dark areas transparent so that the lighter areas will pop out. Interact with the original video. Next, tweak the effect by playing with the opacity of the clip, and if you want, you can adjust the blurriness as well. That looks cool. Now, moving on to blending effect number two, which is a trippy music video effect. Take a look at this girl dancing. Now, we want to give it some sort of delay and glowing edge effect. To do that, duplicate your clip again by holding down Alt and dragging it one track up. Go to the effects controls and find the opacity property. Now, open up the blending modes and difference. Nothing is now happening because both the clips are perfectly in sync. So, to create the effect, offset the clips a few frames by selecting it and then holding down Alt. Now use the arrow keys on your keyboard to move the clip one or multiple frames forward. That looks awesome already. Now, to spice it up even more, move both your clips one track up then hold down Alt and duplicate the bottom clip. Select the two clips on top and right-click them. Then choose Nest. You can give it a name and then click on OK. Now select the nested sequence and head over to the effects controls. Then find Opacity and set the blending mode to Linear Dodge Add. Next, we're gonna add some glow to the dancer. To do that, find the VR Glow effect in the effects library. Then drag it on the nested sequence. Here you can see the effect. First set the luma threshold to zero. That way there's no threshold and the effect is basically all the way open. Next, play around with the radius and the brightness to tweak the glow. You can do whatever you like. You can also choose the color of the glow yourself by enabling tint color and choosing one right here. That's it, looks really cool. Effect number three, creating a glass text by blending videos. Here we have a beautiful nature clip and I want to add some text on top of it. Let's grab the text tool and click somewhere in the program monitor. Maybe type in hello, for example. Now, we want this text to blend in with the video. And to do that, select the graphic layer and go to the window menu on top. Then find the essential graphics panel. Once it's open, you can see the text layer we created inside the graphic layer. Now, we can also put other stuff in this graphic layer, such as a video. To do that, go to the project window and find your background video, then drag it underneath the text layer. We're gonna blend the video together with the text, and to do that, make sure the text layer is selected and scroll all the way down. Then on the bottom, make sure mask with text is checked. This will fill up the text layer with the video we just added. Now, as you can see, the text disappeared. That's because we used the background video for the text layer as well. Now to bring it back, select the graphic layer and hit OK. Alt plus arrow, write a few times. This way you offset the text layer so the video inside becomes visible. This looks great, but I want it to look more classy by creating a fake reflection. To do that, duplicate your graphic layer, then move to the effect controls and find opacity. Set the blending mode to screen, and as you can see, the text is now much brighter. Now, to make it look like a reflection, click the pen tool to create a mask. Then in the program monitor, draw a mask over the text like this. When you're done, go back to the effect and increase the feather. That looks beautiful. Now, to finish off the effect, we can make the text a little brighter. To do that, go to Window and then Lumetri Color. Select the first clip and adjust the exposure just a little bit. Do the same thing for the second clip and look at that.
And I think you're ready for effect number four, a double exposure effect. We're gonna blend two videos into one. For example, a clip of nature and a woman. Drag your clip of a woman on top of the nature video and then make sure the top one is selected. Go to the effect controls and find opacity. Set the blending mode to multiply. You can now see the video through the lighter parts of the woman's face. Looks cool, but it's not. It's not done yet. We're gonna make the light parts even more visible to enhance the effect. For that, go to the window menu on top and open up Lumetri Color. Now expand the Curve tab and create a curve like this. This will increase the contrast of the video. That looks amazing. Moving on to blending effect number five. This one is more like a transition by blending multiple clips together. So I want to transition from this, from this clip to the second one. First, make sure the first one overlaps just a little into the second one. The amount of overlap is the duration of your transition, so keep that in mind. Next, we're gonna need a simple animation that we can use to blend the clips. Go to the project window and then right click inside. We're gonna add a new clip, color matte. Set the color to white and click on OK. When you're done, drag the color mat on top of the two clips. Make sure it's the same length as the overlap we created. Next, go to the toolbar and click and hold the rectangle tool. Then choose the ellipse tool. Now hold down shift and draw a circle in the program monitor. When you're done, drag the circle in the middle of the frame. If you hold down control, the circle will actually snap to the middle. Now head over to the effect controls and make sure the color of the circle is set to black. Otherwise, the effect won't work. Next, go to the vector motion and find the scale property. Make sure the playhead is on the first frame of the clip and then set a keyframe by clicking the stopwatch icon. Next, set the scale to zero. Then grab the playhead again and move it to the end of the clip. Now increase the scale until the entire frame is covered. Now right-click the first keyframe and choose Ease Out. That way, the animation will start smooth and speed up gradually. Now you should have something like this. All right, to blend it with the clips, select them both and right-click it. Then choose Nest. Give it a name and then click on OK. Next, set a cut on the frame first clip at the start of the transition. That's because we're gonna apply an effect on this little part here. In the effects, library, find the track matte effect and drag it on your clip. Then with that clip selected, go to the effect controls. Here, you will find the track matte effect. Next, select the video track that your animation is on. Finally, set the composite to matte luma and there you go. Thank you guys so much for watching, see you next time.